Okay, we'll try this again. <laughs> I started filming, but I forgot to hit the, the film button. I'm out here at 1 o'clock in the morning in my uh, workout shed. Uh, family went to sleep. It's like 37 degrees, so bear with me if I sniffle a little bit and uh, whatever. But anyway, this is the box. Uh, you can see here the, uh, they have the master, they call it slave. We'll call it uh, the uh, drone unit which this is, it's marked. Uh, we got 120 degree lenses as marked. Uh, here's other information. Hold it here for a second if you want to pause it. As you see, this is the X200. When I ordered it, it took about uh, five days for me to receive it, maybe a little longer. Um, the master unit got held up in uh, um, the... Uh, Customs, I guess when they x-rayed the four boxes the the master being set, you know different because it has the uh, The receiver the Wi-Fi receiver and everything on it. So you see there's two layers of foam on top here about inch thick each one um, Here's a power brick the uh, so they held the uh, master for like two days before releasing that one Um that was the only issue I had with the shipping. Um, go over this, and that way you guys can see some of the information on it. Uh, nice thick aluminum. Uh, weighs, I don't know, maybe a pound and a half at most. It does have uh, the uh, thread down watertight uh, fittings. Obviously, I wouldn't submerge it. But so there's the uh, power brick. Set that to the side. Uh, here's the uh, the hanging cables that come with it. Now I do know that there's supposed to be a hanging bracket, like a hard mount bracket, either already available or coming. The images I saw of it, I wasn't too impressed because uh, the light isn't super light, and that hanging off of the glass, the edge of the tank. I, I'm not I'm not going to do that myself uh, Whether you choose to or not. I'll tell you that this hanging hanging uh, cable system is pretty pretty damn good um, This is the second light I've had from them. I had the older generation Malibu uh, similar cable uh, hanging uh, Had it for like two years. It was a good light. This one's just 10 times better Here's uh, the U.S. plug. Obviously, I'm in the, the States, so a U.S. plug. Again, watertight fitting. Here, now, this cable here is the link cable. Uh, this is where you, you connect your drones to the master unit. Uh, I'll get back to this in a second. Uh, here's a cable coming off of the unit uh, that, that goes to the power brick. Now to pull away some of this plastic here. Uh, there's two versions, at least when I ordered mine there was. Uh, one is uh, with the plastic uh, panel right here, which is one I went with. The other option was uh, an aluminum. Um, I went with the plastic to try and lighten it up a little bit. My understanding it was only a couple ounces difference in weight, but you know, in my my previous profession, uh, ounces equal pounds, pounds equals pain. So I'm gonna hold this right here. Excuse me while I'm taking this off. I'm not a professional YouTuber with the <laughs> the, the gizmos and whatever, as you can probably tell by my other videos. the light down um, now I'm probably not going to touch bases on everything because I just I didn't write myself a little you know like a game plan here uh, I will tell you that I'm running this light on a Three of them on a 180 gallon, two foot by two foot by a six foot tank. 
and I'm maxing out on each channel at 45 percent uh, I tried going up a little bit higher than that my SPS didn't really seem too impressed with that they they got a little uh, pissed off I back down and uh to 45 percent my coral growth is phenomenal <laughs> compared to my T5 and LED uh, setup I had before. Um, as you see, two fans at 45%. Honestly, I don't. I, I haven't heard the fans kick on at all. Um, if I bump up to about 50%, that's when the fans start coming on. Uh, I won't claim that they're the most silent fans, but. They're not, they're not loud by any, any means. Um, as you see, there's a clear plastic uh, shield here protecting all the LEDs. Um, I'm going to try and plug, hook it up and plug it in here in a second. Now, that jumper cable I talked to about a minute ago, you can see right here it says out. There's your connector, uh, thread on connector. There's threads right there. Um, there's one on this side, and there's one on this side, and as you see, they both say out. When I got mine, I, I contacted Kevin and, uh, asked him about that because I was a little confused. I didn't want to screw up the light, uh, which end I needed to hook the cable to or whatever. And it turns out you can hook up the cable to either end and hook it up to the power brick, I mean to the, uh, to the master unit, or you can hook it up to uh, the uh, additional drones. Uh, so it doesn't matter, either side is out because the, 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 uh, the master unit is sending the signal out and these it just feeds through these. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, connect this real quick. We'll see what it does, I'm, I'm not sure. I'm out here in my shed. Um, I, I, it's gonna come on at 100%. If memory serves me correctly, okay, that pushes in. It only keys in one way, uh, like pretty much everything else in the aquarium world. Uh, if you've done any kind of uh, uh, the say power uh, return pumps and all that, you know the DC stuff. Everything goes in has one connector. Actually, you know what? I didn't even need to connect that. Now that I think about it, because we don't have a master out here. So we go ahead. Uh, this one is is uh, the power that's keyed to. So we're going to go find here. To the, right here. That output. I'm going to set this down for a second. Bear with me. I'll keep talking while I plug this in. And screw it down. Okay, that's done. Sorry about that, the black. I guess I could have pointed it at something else. I gotta do the same thing with the power in. Okay. I know I'm all horrible at this filming. <laughs> I'm not making any money at it though. Um, now, I'm an end user. Uh, I did have many, many talks with the company about the, the layout and uh, the, what they call the super blue layout. That was a layout I came up with uh, to best mimic the, uh, the G5 blues. Um, it's not a 100% copy of it. But it's as close as I could come up with uh, using what grows coral and what doesn't. Okay, as we see, they're on 100%. I'm gonna turn this <laughs> this light here off. This my normal workout light. And uh, as you see, this this room is uh, <laughs> sick, sickening blue. <laughs> and, and that's with the box half with the half closed. Uh, this light is phenomenally bright. That's a. I I want to move it, turn it over, and put you next to the fan. Hopefully you can hear that. I mean, it's it's quiet. 
It is quiet. So let me kill the power on those. And then I'm going to go over here. Like I said, any questions you have that, that I can help with, I mean, I'll gladly help. But this ain't my profession. I'm going to go here. Okay, now I'm going to open up the app. The app, when you go to the app store, you look for this, Aquazealer. Open this up. Okay, <laughs> took me a minute. Um, searching for device now. It probably won't, oh, I did find, there it is. It found, found the device. So you click on there. Okay, you go here. Here's manual. You click on there, and you can move them. As you see in my other video, to move the sliders up and down, control the light. Now, I don't think it'll reach to... I honestly, I don't know if it'll reach like to, to, to right now because I may or may not be connected to the Wi-Fi. That's something I'll get to here in a second. Uh, I'm going to hit back. Okay. Then if you want to program it, you go to here to my program. Then this sunny, cloudy, rainy. Honestly, I wouldn't use it. I, I, it it's, you know, the, the regular gimmick... Uh, with lightning and whatever crap, you know, which would be the rainy, sunny is like probably full, and then uh, cl cloudy is going to be like going up and down in brightness and that. I don't mess with any of that. I got my DIY one, my program. Okay, now all here's LED. Uh, this one here, uh, memory serves me correctly, is is the uh, Royal Blues. Now this one here is uh, the um, Royal Blue and uh, Violet Blue. Uh, this one here is uh, choo -choo -choo -choo. that's a that's a UV has some Royal Blues in it, but it's UV. And then this one here. Is my uh, whites and my uh, the 470 the Windex color blues? Um, so I'm gonna set this down for a second. So how I got this set up, how I built this, is this row here and this row here are the uh, royal blues. In here, staggered are my are channel two, like. It, these two here, half of these are channel are uh, are uh, channel two, and half of these are channel three, and it goes like this: like channel two, channel two, channel two, channel two, and then channel three, channel three, channel three. So that's how those are. So you got royal blues, and you got uh, UVs spread across these two here. This this row here is my channel four. Where I have the uh, the whites and the uh, the the 470 like Windex blue, um, I don't have red in this. Uh, the UV, I mean the uh, well in between the UV, but also the uh, violet blue. It covers the UV. I have some cyan in here to help with the green. Um, I had I had to make some compromise and red. You know it's questionable how. How you how usable it really is um i was going for the maximum usage of uh par and growing color you know lights and so i skipped out on the red that some of the other lights have um now if you feel you need red my suggestion is to go with the uh the orphic uh or three uh bars they got the uh the daylight bar that has a red and the green and the white in it and uh, you can use those to to add a little additional red if that's if that you feel it's lacking. Uh, for the price, I don't think you'll beat this. Now the the uh, the X two hundreds that I have, I got four of them right now. Three are in use. This one, as you see, I just cut out of the box. They're going over my three hundred gallon that's about to get filled. 
Uh, the X300, which is bigger than this, it has another section of these lights. So there's, instead of there being two, there's a third. That one there is uh, 34 inch, where this is, is 23 inch. Uh, that one there has 96, I believe it is, LEDs in it. Uh, I'm going to put four of those over my 400 gallon, which is actually getting water uh, tomorrow, Friday. And uh, it's going to start getting filled. Uh, both those tanks are going to be SPS. Uh, total system that, that they're going to be lighting is going to end up being uh, over 1,200 gallons. Um, these lights have are, are... I couldn't afford to do radions over those two tanks. Plain and simple, that was going to cost me somewhere between fifteen and $20,000. I'm going to be into these lights in between let's say $2,400 to three grand, depending on um, if I feel once I get them up and running, if I feel I need to add one or two more, since my both my uh, my main displays are gonna be eight feet long, one's eight foot by uh, three foot by two foot, two foot deep, three feet wide, uh, eight feet long. The other one is, uh, Eight feet long, thirty inch wide by two feet deep. Uh, I'm running the, the the lights instead of long way. If this box, let's say this light was the tank, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run them across the tank like this. So I'm going to run four, set them up, take my power measurements, and if I have to, I'm going to put them on a a bar where I can slide them left or right, and if I need to. I will I will add an additional light or two to get a full bank, get the the most even spread I possibly can. Uh, I'm going to be growing my SPS, uh, mostly high end SPS acro uh, from the bottom third of the tank. I'm uh, I'm trying to keep as much grow height above the the coral as possible, so my rock work is going to be fairly low. Uh, the 320, I'm going to actually uh, probably do uh, the um, uh, like bonsai tree style rock work, whereas the uh, 400 gallon, that one there is, I got a bunch of rock already, and that's going to be all basically laid across the bottom, making little bridges or whatever, uh, maximum flow through it, and uh, maximum growth height. Um, so, uh, one thing, when you go, when you download the app, let me open this back up, okay, bear with me, okay, when you go, doo -doo -doo -doo. I'm going to exit out of here, as you saw, doo -doo 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 -doo. I'm going to go home, okay, go here, doo -doo -doo. okay, Okay, it's not coming up. Okay, I'm too far away, uh, which is probably the the best thing. Uh, when you uh, when you uh, first plug in the master unit, which, like I said, I don't have out here the master unit over the light over the the, the 180 right now. That's in my other video. Once you get the app downloaded into your your device. You uh, go to your you go to your Wi-Fi on on that device, and you open it up after you get the lights plugged in and on, um, and it's gonna pop up the the light like when I right now it pops up as an X two hundred on the uh, the Wi-Fi. You click on that first, and then you open up the app, and then you can control the lights. Um, so that's one little issue, or not an issue, but one thing they don't really tell you, and so if you go and plug them in and you can't get them running, you know, like controlling, that's where the issue lies, is you got to switch your Wi-Fi to off of your whatever you, your Wi-Fi is running on regularly with the device, you know, your home Wi-Fi. These produce their own Wi-Fi channel that you click on, and then you control the light by itself, um, separate from anything else in your house. Which, for me, I think that's a pretty cool thing. You don't have to go and buy, you know, like the 
uh, router or anything like that because it has its own built-in uh, Wi-Fi router uh, that you can connect directly to the light nothing else no other device um, so again power brick so that this thing uh, if you uh, run the specs of this like I said I'll hold it up again and you compare the specs of this power brick you'll find that this this light produces more um, watts than does the uh, the reef breeders of the same size uh, this power brick is a hell of a lot better than that 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 uh, reef breeders uh, light um, and then you don't have no stupid controller to lose or break or, or you know whatever so it, all in all it's better priced than the uh than the uh the reef breeders more par uh more more even spread uh more power <laughs> uh no no gimmick device or anything like that yes they're both made in china uh reef breeders is uh rebranded uh i think they're the 240 2040 something like that is what they sell it anywhere else in the uh, in the world but here in the u.s they call them reef breeders because they rebrand them and they got the contract um but you know uh when uh this light was coming to fruition uh uh logan had had was was in some conversations about it you know and about the previous model that i also had um Again, I use one uh, the 120 uh, lenses. I recommend that. I cannot see a reason for 90 degree lenses unless you're going to hang this light, you know, like four or five feet above the tank. I'd be afraid of frying everything in the tank with the 90s. Um, Shimmer uh, has a nice, you know, like nothing crazy, nothing harsh. Uh, you don't get any disco ball. Um, it's not a Kessel type shimmer, but it's a pretty decent shimmer. Um, maybe you call it muted, but it's better than uh, T5, which has none. Um, colors are, are pretty oppressive. Everybody that's seen the seen my my tank with these over, they're they're really impressed. Um, and these are guys that have radions and guys that have you know the uh, hy hydras. I actually, was buying hydras. And then uh, this light came to be, and I sold my Hydras, uh, Hydra 64 HDs, uh, because uh, price, and I was going to need so many more of those lights than uh, I was with these. So, again, uh, I guess I feel like I'm rambling now. If uh, you have any more questions, uh, hit me up. And again, I apologize that I didn't get this done yesterday, uh, like I said I was, but... Uh, Ran out of energy. There's no excuse. Uh, so I'm going to sign off now and hit the weights. And uh, again, any questions, uh, please feel free to, to message me and uh, I'll answer as I can. Uh, thank you and bye-bye.